Alright, so I'm lazy. <laughs> I still don't have the the music files, the theme song, transferred over onto my new computer. So y'all will just have to sing it alone by yourself this time. Anyways, let's take that opening hit. Cheers, everybody. Alrighty, and here we go playing Overwatch once again because I fucking love Overwatch. It's it I I love it. Um, and I love this opening sequence. Uh, opening sequence. Just a little splash screen here. Um, not just the fact that <coughs> Owl Anna is <laughs> smashing Hanzo with the snowball. Um, got somber laughing is. As those snowballs are coming in towards her. Um, it's just the fact that it's a scene, and they're doing this whole pan to different characters and the slow-mo action sequence. I love it. Props to the, the Blizzard crew for this one. I know this is a carryover from last year. It would be nice to, you know, maybe see some new updated stuffs like this, but it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm not complaining about it. Anyways, anyways. <gasps> This is still practically one of my first games of the day. I kind of have a routine that I usually stick to. Um, I'll sign on the game for the first time, I'll click on play, and I will hop into quick play, or um, I'll hop into the arcade, and usually play some Mystery Heroes. Mystery Heroes is my favorite of the arcades. I love the free-for-all deathmatch as well. I fucking love the mystery deathmatch free-for-all. I still haven't done that, um, but... But I love it. I love it. Um, but the mystery free for all that could be <laughs> interesting. Um, but anyways, so I'll play that warm up game or two, maybe three, uh, and then I'll start getting the itch to play comp because, well, you know, you gotta play comp. <laughs> um, but before playing a comp, I pretty much always go into the practice range first because having this practice range available is awesome and it's really kind of a, a sad thing that a lot of people that just pick their character I'm obviously going to pick Zenyatta um, and they'll start here and they'll just practically speed run they're like alright we gotta kill these guys gotta kill this one up here I'll charge my balls charge my balls there he is one I missed there we go um, kill this guy right as he respawns. Oh man, that was horrible timing. Horrible, horrible timing. We're not gonna, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, we'll just kill that one, and then we'll come down to these four. I missed. I am. Pressure must be on or something. Um. Anyways, they'll kill these four, and they'll they'll call it a day. They'll go up here, and because you know you got to complete the speed run, and they're they're off to comp. Fucking boom, boom, boom. Me? No, no, I don't do that. I mean, even when I shoot at these ones, rarely will I shoot at the same one over and over. You just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to, you know, give me that extra little practice with my flicks. Um, body shot. Ugh, no one wants a body shot. But, for the most part, the main thing that I do in the training room here is I play this corner right here. Um, because with this corner, you not only have what you can see here, usually I just focus on, on these two, um, but at the same time you got the ones over here. You got this dude here, who we do have a teammate shooting at. Um, you, so you can sort of put this one into play, but this is is big target. That's target number one. So you can play with these, and what I like to do is clear them out. Alright, that one's dead, right? So then we, boom, try to quick peek him, and there, I'm way overexposed here, so I gotta back up, back to, back up, back to safety. He's running away, get that quick kill, and then where's this guy? He's already running away from me because he's scared. Uh, he didn't need to be, I was missing every shot. And then, you know, it's just a constant, it's a corner peek game that you make out of, ah, he's, he needs to hurry up and die, my aim needs to not suck so bad. That's the purpose of the training room, though. You can suck in the training room, because it's not about shooting the bots. It's not about hitting them every time. It's literally just target practice. It's about knowing exactly where you want the shot to go and placing it there. Without a doubt, a bot is in no way a representation of a, a real match. A real character in you know a, a real game type environment no don't treat it as such Tre you know their movements I um, mean every now and then they do a little uh, juke you know and usually they just go turn around and come back though so it's not about hitting the bots it's about 
placing your shots where you want them to go. Um, but a lot of times I don't even use the bots. Like the only time I really do is when I'm playing this corner game. You know, playing the the shoot the bots and, and doing that because it's it's good in my opinion to get that that quick practice in before hopping into comp. So the other thing after I do my corner game is after that point, I will start to fine tune my aim. So that basically means clicking the center square. And not just that, it's practicing the 180s. So it's it's not about incorporating keyboard movement. That comes next. That comes next. So for now, I'm just going to stand. Usually what I'll stand is right here because from here you can hit uh, about right here. Yeah, You can hit the center of the one over there. So then you got all three targets on all sides. And you can practice your 180 flicks going both directions, not just the same direction all of the time. Because if you do the same direction all of the time, it kind of becomes your muscle memory to do the same direction all of the times. And sometimes it's not beneficial. It doesn't behoove you to always do the same direction turn. So I be sure to try to practice my switches going both directions. Um, and I'm actually I mean, taking a little slower, being a little more um, determinate with my placement than even usual. Because, again, it's important to do this, just in my opinion, to, to develop the ability to place your shots exactly where you want them. Um, I prefer long-range characters. In the game, I, I'm just that way. I'm more of a, a snipe shooter than I am a up in your face type person. Like, I suck as a May. I just do. She's lethal as fuck, but I'm not great with her. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's, that's a completely different video. So, that's my whole non-movement, and all I'll do after that is I'll do the same thing, but I'll ramp it up a lot more. I'll incorporate some movement into it, going back and forth. And I've learned, I've found, that when doing this, because it took me a little while to even find the practice range in the game, um, and then once I knew it was there, it took me a while to realize how to fully utilize it. Um, but after I started doing that, um, I've noticed a practically instantaneous difference in my character deletion abilities while in-game. So I highly encourage everybody to use a practice room. You don't have to do exactly what I do. No, no, make your own games out of it. Um, for different characters, they have different strengths and they have different um, optimal placements, optimal little games that you want to do. What I would suggest is to practice aiming for the heads because this is the perfect place to try to only aim for the heads. You don't have to, again. If that's not your thing, then, then don't force it. Don't do something just because I do something or just because anybody else does something. Um, but I would encourage you to take the overall lesson of this video, which is to utilize the practice room in whatever way you're able to. And don't just do it for 30 seconds and then boom, all right, I'm warm up, I'm off the comp now. No, stay in here for a good at least five minutes, I would say. Five, 10 minutes um, is is perfect for for that good warm-up because you know I did my little warm-ups here in about a minute or so each so just stretch that to a little bit longer and and then you can go into a competitive game feeling confident feeling you know that all right I can I, I can take that duel I can delete that motherfucker um, obviously shooting skill is only one part of the game but it is a pretty big part of it so that's all I got for today. Cheers. Everybody's going to take a hit here and sign off for today. Um, have yourself a great and stony one.